In this video we're going to take a look at complex numbers. So complex numbers have a real part and an imaginary part and they can be written down as a plus bi. So that's just a general form that they can be written down in where a and b are real numbers and i is the square root of negative 1. And if we want to plot out a complex number and, and think about its meaning we need two number lines. We need the imaginary number line and we need the real number line. And if we have a number like 2 plus 3i, then we can draw that onto here as like a graph with two axes. Okay, so what about adding up complex numbers? Let's take this example, 5 plus 2i as our first complex number and then 3 plus 4i. And as you can imagine, it's fairly straightforward. We just add up the real components, so 5 plus 3 gives us 8, and then we add up the imaginary numbers, so 2i plus 4i gives us 6i. Okay, what about multiplying complex numbers? So here's an another example, we've got 5 plus 2i multiplied by 3 plus 4i. So to start with, we multiply the two real numbers, that gives us 15. Then we multiply the real number from the first complex number with the imaginary number from the second complex number that gives us 20i then we do the same thing but it's the other way around now we've got the imaginary number times the real number and then we multiply the two imaginary numbers and that gives us 8i squared okay so now we need to simplify this so we still have 15 but we can add the 20i and the 6i to give us 26i and i squared is minus 1. So 8 times minus 1 is minus 8, and so the overall number there then is 7 plus 26i, because we need to do the 8, and we need to do the 15, take away the 8. Okay, final thing I want to mention then is that complex numbers can be represented as vectors. So if we have vector k equals 3i plus 4i, uh, sorry, 3 plus 4i, uh, we can plot that out on a graph where we have the real number line on the x-axis and the imaginary number line on the y-axis. And we can also get the magnitude of the vector, or it's also referred to as the modulus. And the symbol for that is the k to represent the, the vector, and then these two vertical lines. And we just work it out using Pythagoras. So uh, we put in the, the real number squared and then we put in the magnitude of the imaginary number squared um, and work it out as, as shown. So that works out to be a magnitude of 5 for this factor. Okay, so that's been an introduction to complex numbers. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.